Welcome back to Blind T. Today on this show, we've got a good friend, Curtis. But Curtis is a second timer. First time around, he didn't have such good luck. So, uh, food's pretty good, eh? Yeah, I guess. Yeah? Whoa, what the? Oh, oh man, I guess the, the Andrew shampoo wasn't really working, huh? <laughs> Looks like he was a hair short of the second date there. <laughs> but, he set him up on, a, on another date with a hot new chick named Sandra. My name's Curtis. My name's Curtis. And uh I'm your date for today. So uh, I hope we have fun together. Foot accent. Wait, wait. See Bill Jack. Crack myself up. Okay, uh, so, what kind of books do you like to read? Mostly magazines. Oh. So, uh, you're pretty tan there. Uh, do you do a lot of hiking? Tanning with the mom. Oh. Come on, sing along! My motto's always been when it's right, it's right. Why wait until the middle of the cold dark night? Are you stupid? Everybody knows this song! Sing along! Where are we going? It's a surprise! <laughs> you just love surprises? Oh my gosh. No. Okay, looks like we're here. Okay, let's go. Come on, go on. Let me get my crutches here. That's right. I'm taking you to the local synagogue. So go ahead and put on your yarmulke now. Here, let me help you out. This is it. This is what we've both been waiting for. The local synagogue. Hi, Rabbi. How's it going? We're here for the private sermon. What kind of sermon would you like? I think one of us true love. Okay. Well, the day of true love. Which is our fire, I know. But you know, Mr. T said it best. Because everyone knows that anyway, I spent my time in the Navy, and then we just all had to be done for true love. Well, it was always there. You said to Jesus. So, uh, uh, interesting, huh? So I, Mr. Potato Head, threw his filet of fish in the garbage of scorn, and looked over, and God struck down with his hand, and said, Don't you care how to do that, because if you do, I will have to canoe in a mouse of leisurely bathing in the sun with his best friend, God. And, and so I just picked up the hamper of every cow. Thank you, Rabbi. Cows, you know, we, we, think, we think these together. true love. This stuff is really important. Oh, Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on, honey. Mr. Elephant and the hamburger locked up in the Good sermon, eh? Yeah. Uh, can you hurry? I have a manicure appointment in 10 minutes. Don't worry. I'll do my best. But I can't go over the speed limit, you know. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, well, I don't know about you, but I think this is going really well. Hey, uh... 
You're a fast walker there, huh? I'm usually pretty fast myself, but with these crutches, you know, I can't go very fast with these. So, uh, had a good time with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll see you later, okay? Yeah. Bye! Oh, man! What a catch! Yeah! <laughs> On to their final thoughts. What did you think about Sandra? Man, I gotta tell you, I have never felt this way before. I mean, she just totally totally changes my mood. I don't know, it's just incredible. I mean, what a woman! She's so beautiful! And yeah, I've just got this funny feeling right around here that she feels just the same for me, you know? I just can't wait to see what this turns out to be like. This is just so wonderful. I gotta write down this date and I will remember it forever. So, would you go out with Curtis again? Uh, no, he's definitely not my type. I mean. <laughs> Poor guy. You know what they say, third time's a charm. <laughs> Please sit down, people. I'm only human. Uh, anyways, tune in next time in 23 and a half hours for another great blind date. Let's chat.